I've been asked so many times to do Canva tutorials, so in this video I will show you three ways to upgrade your Canva presentations. I'm using the free version of Canva for the first two and the paid version for the last one. And this video is brought to you by Monday.com. As you guys know, besides being a content creator, I'm also a professional presentation designer. I often have to record, edit, and manage multiple projects at once, which makes it so easy to lose track of where each task stands. Staying organized is crucial, especially with so much going on. Recently, I started using Monday.com and it's been a game changer for managing my projects. On the left-hand side, there's an option to create a board, which acts as a workspace for each project or client. Right now, I just have one board called Presentation Projects, but you can create as many as you need. Within each board, you can add items or create groups, making it easy to organize everything. I like to create one group per client because I often manage multiple projects for the same client, and this keeps everything clear and separated. To add a new project, simply click Add Item and type in the project name. For instance, for this client, I need to redesign their corporate template, so I'll enter that here. You can also assign a date to each task. Since this client has a deadline for the template, I'll select that date from the calendar. Now, for this particular task, there are a few additional things that I need to do. Fortunately, Monday.com lets you add subtasks to each main task, so you can break down larger projects into smaller steps. For example, I'd need to send a cost estimate, get the content contract sign, have a briefing meeting, create a presentation concept and submit it for approval, complete the rollout and send the invoice. Since some tasks require help from my team, I can go to the person section, click on the plus icon and assign specific tasks to my admin staff. This allows me to focus on other aspects of the project while my team handles this. Each item has a space for updates, which I find super helpful. I can add notes or upload files as references and my team gets notified automatically. For example, I might add a note asking them to send my portfolio with the cost estimate. I'll upload the portfolio directly to the files area as a reference so they know exactly what document I'm talking about. If you click on the status tab, you can change the status of each task. For example, I can mark completed tasks as done and ongoing ones as working on it, ensuring I know the exact status of each task without having to search through emails or message threads. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, I'll leave the link in the description box of this video so you can give it a go for free and thank you Monday for partnering with me on this video. So first I'm gonna insert a circle from the elements panel and I'm gonna change its color. What I like to do is to select the same background color that I already have and then just increase the saturation a little bit like this. Amazing. So now I'll make it larger by holding alt on my keyboard and dragging this handle and then you can start adding your images. I got these PNGs from Adobe Stock and for the first one, I'll just add it right here on the right hand side of the circle. Now for the second one, we're gonna put it on the top of the circle. However, you need to rotate it minus 90 degrees and let's just put it over here. Perfect, so for the third image, we're actually gonna rotate it 180 degrees. I'll usually make it smaller and then put it on top of a previous image that I've used to match the size, and then you can just put it right here. And for the last image, we're just gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Again, I'll make it smaller. I'll try to match the same height as previous images and then just put it at the bottom like this. Next, you're gonna select everything, right click on it and select group. I'll make everything larger by holding Alt on my keyboard so it stays centered. And I'll simply move everything to the left like this so the focus of our first slide is on the first image. And then you can just add your text on the right hand side of the slide. And I'm using the font Payton one for the headlines and Canvas Sans for the body text. Perfect, so now you're gonna select your first page and duplicate it with Ctrl D. And on this slide first, I'm gonna zoom out so we see everything that we're doing. And then you're gonna select the group that you already have and rotate it to the right like this, 90 degrees. Amazing, so now the focus is on our second image. And here we're just gonna replace the text and that's it. Now we're gonna repeat the process for the remaining slides and it's very easy to do. You just have to select the group and rotate it 90 degrees like this. And then you can simply add your new text in this part and that's pretty much it. While I do the last one, please let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this Canva tutorial so I can make more. And here I'll do it one last time. I'll add my text on the right hand side of the slide like this and that's it. 
So now that we have all of our slides, the only thing that we need to do is to add our transition. So click on the transition icon here and then click on match and move. And in this panel, simply increase the duration and then just apply between all pages. And that's it. That's how you make this first presentation using Canva. Now for the second one, we're gonna start inserting an image and putting it in the center of the slide like this. I'll make it smaller because we'll need to fit other images on the right hand side. So once you have four images laid out like this, I'll make sure that they're evenly distributed. So just select them all, right click on them and click on space evenly and then horizontally and then click on group. Amazing. So first I'll zoom out so we see exactly what we're doing and then you're going to make everything larger like this. The goal is to have the first image center within the slide and to make it cover at least like 85% of it. Perfect. So now I'm going to go to elements, click on a circle and put it right here at the top of the slide. And I'm going to stretch it all the way to the right and I'll even make it slightly larger than the canvas like this. Holding Alt on my keyboard, I'm simply going to drag it to the bottom like this. So I duplicate it and then I'm just going to change their color. So just select them, click on the color icon and change their color to white so they match the background. Perfect. So in these areas, you can add your text and then you're going to select the slide and duplicate it with Ctrl D. Perfect. So on this slide, the only thing that you need to do is to drag everything to the left like this. And I'll also replace the bottom text like this. I'll repeat the exact same process for the remaining slides. You need to duplicate them, move everything to the left and replace the text. And once you're done, let's just add the transition. So you'll need to click between two pages and then click on add transition, then select match and move. And here we're just going to increase the duration slightly and apply between all pages. And that's it. That's how you make this awesome slideshow effect using Canva. Okay, so for the last one, you're going to insert an image that takes the whole area of the slide like this. Next, you're going to go to elements and here you're going to look for circle hole icon. And this is a premium shape from Canva Pro. And you're just going to insert it into the slide like this. And then you're going to change the transparency to 80%. Perfect. So I'll zoom out so we can see exactly what we're doing. And I'm just going to increase the size of the shape like this and focus on one character. In this area, you can add your text and then you're going to duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And here we're simply going to get rid of this text and then we're going to move the shape to a different character like this. I'll just add my new text over here and I'm going to repeat the process for the last character. I'm going to duplicate the slide, get rid of this text, move the circle to our last character, again, add my information. And that's pretty much it. The only thing that we need to do is to add the transition, click on match and move, increase the duration and click on apply between all pages. And that's it, guys. That's three easy ways that you can use to upgrade your Canva presentations. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok so you don't miss any of my tutorials. Remember that all of my templates are available on my website. The link is in the description box of this video. And let me know in the comments if you want more Canva tutorials. I'll see you on my next video.